So in this video, we're going to move into more of the real world application side of this and we're going to move out of the theory and we're going to actually start quantizing some models using some open source packages. So I've installed uh, Transformers, Torch, Bits and Bytes, and Accelerate. Um, these are some packages that you will need to, to not only load in hugging face models but also quantize them down into 8 or 4 bit precision. And so first I'm going to load in uh, a model called the Falcon 7B language model. It's got 7 billion parameters and I'm gonna load in just the tokenizer first and so that loaded in relatively quickly and now I would load in the model right and I could pass in this is how you can load a model in for uh, from Hugging Face and then make sure you load it in in B float 16 precision I could do this however with a 7 billion parameter model and we have 16 bits per parameter, that's gonna be two bytes, um, and that's gonna require 14 gigabytes of GPU RAM. And now if I go over here and I look at uh, my resources, I have 15 gigabytes of GPU RAM, it would barely fit in, and so it would only leave me one gigabyte of space. Um, and actually, you know, I've tested this beforehand, and it's actually crashed before. I'm not really sure why it crashes on a free instance of Colab, but um, it's it's not it crashed for me, and so we're going to we're going to actually have to load this in at a lower bit precision. But I wanted to leave this here just to show you that that is how you would do it by passing in the torch D type. So let's move to eight bit precision now. I'm going to use bits and bytes to do this. Um, bits and bytes is going to uh, allow for us to build this uh, by you know from transformers. I'm going to import bits and bytes config. And I'm going to pass in um, a config. I'm going to create a config where it says load an 8 bit, and I'm going to set that equal to true. And then I'm going to pass this config as a parameter for the, um, as an argument for the quantization config parameter uh, when I load in the model for the Falcon 7B. This right here, I'm going to call model.get memory footprint after it loads in and divide it by 1e to the ninth to get how many gigabytes of memory it has. And then I'm going to print that all out right here to see how much I've saved by quantizing to 8 bit. We loaded our model in that took a minute so um, I fast forward a little bit but as you can see this was our model footprint at 32 bits which would be um, about 28 gigabytes um, but if we when we loaded it in an 8-bit where the model is now this is how many gigabytes it is it's 7.22 gigabytes which is you know 4x savings and that's exactly what we ex expect reducing our precision from 32 bits to 8 bits and so I'm going to pass in this prompt right here and, um, and see how uh, Falcon, the Falcon 7B and 8-bit precision can, provides a completion, how well it does. And so here, this prompt ended with Daniel saying, hello, Giraffatron. And then it was prompted at this point for Giraffatron to finish a response. And so, hello, Giraffatron. And then it actually generated a conversation and says, it says, Daniel says, hello, Giraffatron. It says, hello, Daniel. How are you? Oh, great human of the internet. Daniel says, I'm doing well. Thank you so very much. So giraffes are cool, right? And it says, absolutely. How could any mammal not find giraffes attractive? Um, and so that's a fair point. Um, so it actually provides a sensible uh, completion. And we saved, uh, you know, four times the memory. You know, we only, we did it with a fourth of the memory requirement. So that's how you load an 8-bit. Uh, we're going to move on to how do you load in models in 4-bit precision using bits and bytes as well.